Hi everyone, how are you doing? We welcome you all to the hands-on video of the Build 14332, the latest Windows 10 mobile build that Microsoft has pushed to Windows Insiders in Fastring. The Build 14332 does not bring uh, lots of changes and features as per Microsoft's official change log, but we were able to explore and find some noteworthy changes and features that you can read by going to Nokia Power User, or you can watch our earlier video in which we have demoed those changes. So. <laughs> you would be interested in knowing how the build behaves in terms of navigation in terms of performance or how it compares to the last build the build 14328 so we have demoed or we are demoing this build on two devices lumia 550 and lumia 640 xl we will share our installation experience we will share our first impressions and we will do bit of hands on so that you understand how the build behaves so <laughs> starting with our installation experience so the installation experience has been uh, not that smooth as it was with some of the earlier redstone builds one of our device again uh, upgraded smoothly did not take much time it was around 40 to 45 minutes and it was done upgrading and installing but one of our devices was not uh, i mean it took around 1 to 2 hours in it was like stuck at zero then we plugged it in and it again uh, i mean the installation or the download jumped and then it finally uh, installed and the data migrated it took lot i mean long time like 2 hours so that's the installation experience so i mean uh, we can just suggest that in case you are facing issue of download getting stuck somewhere you can go and plug in your device so that is one uh, easy way to i mean that can actually help it. so you can do that <clears throat> now coming to how the build behaves how uh, so we will do bit of hands on so let's begin So here uh, I have a Lumia 550 in my hand, and as you can see, the build keeps its uh, kind of smoothness or fast response sort of stuff intact. We can open a new some apps. Let's send it to background. the store let's open the microsoft edge If you remember uh, in the with the last build 14328 Microsoft Edge edges I mean the the issue of crashing of Microsoft Edge was fixed so Microsoft Edge perhaps uh, properly I have not seen or encountered any crashes so it's well sorted out Microsoft has fixed many bugs and issues with the build 14332 and that reflects when you play with the build the build is certainly smoother than even the last build the 14328 because it brings some uh, i mean many bug fixes and improvements we can check the settings the action center behaves normally So as you can see it's all uh, okay so, i mean there is no issue or any kind of lags etc while we are playing with the settings 
even uh, if you remember there was one sign in options bug where the pin was repeated twice so that bug has been resolved in this build so you don't see pin twice here let's check how the multitasking works it resumes fast we can open Cortana as well and we can check it so as you know Microsoft Edge, Cortana, Store it, these are one of the most uh, issue creating kind of apps where you will see lots of crashes etc so that's why I have opened them but we don't see any crash or any that kind of issue yet even the Microsoft Edge is like working fine. It has not posed any or caused any issue of like crashes or anything on the Lumia 550. Even when like we have opened maybe three tabs and it's okay, working fine. So if you ask for our first uh, impressions of the build on a Lumia 550, it's quite promising again. So if we compare to the last build 143 to it, there are some issues which have been fixed. With build 14328, there was an issue with the use of the phone app. The phone app uh, was crashing when you try to make calls at certain times. So with this build, we can confirm that that issue has been solved. You can use the phone app and uh, we have not encountered any crashes of it. So that is good. Apart from that, if we talk about uh, attaching photos, etc., then that also works fine. So we have not seen any issue in that. So as you can see, uh, there are no crashes with uh, using the build 14332 while we have been doing the demo here. So it's good actually even uh, we while I mean during our brief hands on time with the build, we did not encounter many issues with it. So with that, uh, we'll take a Lumia 640XL and check how the build behaves on that. Though Lumia 640XL being a uh, I mean with a better processor you would always expect it to behave in a better way or I mean it's quite good actually the scrolling etc the behavior is good actually even you would not see any lags etc Let's send it to background store. So as you can see, 
if you again i compare to the how the build behaved on a lumia 550 it's a bit faster on a lumia 640 xl that was expected but yes i mean the behavior is in front of you and it's okay because lumia 640 xl is uh, a mid-range so you expect it to obviously behave in a faster way and it it, it does not disappoint so you can see how fast things are opening like maps, Kotan, etc. We will also uh, open the camera. Let's see how the short to short timings are. And here comes enjoying the camera app. Microsoft wants you to rate it. So let's send it to background. So as you may, uh, you may have noted uh, during our hands-on on a Lumia 640 XL, the build 14332 is fast, responsive and it does not crash. So like we said, uh, if you compare the build on the two devices, Lumia 550 and a Lumia 640 XL, it's natural that uh, I mean Lumia 640 XL will be faster in doing things. So it, it is fine. I mean. Uh, because they run the same build and they obviously uh, belong to two different categories one is budget one is mid-range but the good thing is that build 14332 behaves quite well it is fast responsive and till now we have seen that it, it did not crash there may be bugs somewhere I mean we have to find it we have to run it for uh, more days to understand what kind of bugs or issues would be there but the first impressions are really positive for this build the build is quite promising if we compare to the last two builds 14327 and 14328 it, it does have uh, some known issues of its own but as such if you want to use uh, this as a daily driver being a insider being an insider then you can go for it i mean obviously these builds are not meant for everyone because these are anyways the beta builds but if you are uh, already an insider and you are already uh, want to upgrade to this build we will just say that uh, you can go for it there is no issue with that so with that we come to end of this video or or maybe you would like to see the multitasking on lumia 640 xl though we uh, can tell you that it's really good we don't want to miss it so let's do a bit of multitasking and you would realize that things are quite fast let's open the map So as you can note there are no uh, resuming downloading loading etc i mean those kind of issues while we do a multitasking with a multitasking on lumia 640 xl even it was good on lumia 550 so in that way uh, we see that the build is quite good so we shared our installation experience which was like a mixed bag then we shared our first impression which is quite good and we also shared how the build really behaves a bit faster on i mean it, it appears to be a bit faster on lumia 640 xl if compared to Lumia 550 but it does not disappoint at all on a Lumia 550 and if you see the complete video you'll see that it's really fast on Lumia 550 as well so it's quite quite good actually so we will uh, just encourage you if you are already an insider to go and upgrade to this build and you should not be disappointed uh, as for bugs 
we said that we will run this build from maybe like a couple of days more and then we can share if we see any bugs which are not reported in the known issues and last and not the least coming to the battery life we have been running this build since yesterday and battery life has been normal i mean the battery discharge is normal we did not see any any uh, peak or any kind of uh, i mean increase in the battery discharge it has been normally what we saw what we see actually uh, in the last builds as well so with that we come to end of this video uh, hope you have enjoyed watching it stay tuned thanks for watching